Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another BJ and Co. Rail Nation video. Today, we are going to show you guys a little bit of tips and tricks to help you up your prestige game, give you some nice, good numbers so that you can have lots of gold carrying over and uh, help your rank in this game. Um, you can see right now I am 29th in the world, so I feel like I can talk to this with a little bit of experience. I'm by far not the best. You know, I'm sitting at 235 thousand uh, prestige currently almost going into era six if we take a look here you know like i said i am 29th but if we jump right to the top there are always people that are going to be better than you out there lumpy here right now is at almost three times my prestige right now with 689,000. so doing fantastic so i'm not the god in this but i feel like i can talk to it well being in the top two percent of this world so let's get on into it guys first things first haul required goods Every city that you're connected to has required goods, and the bigger the city level is, the more you're gonna get from prestige from it. So here we've got boys. This is the main city that I haul to, level 37, and if we pick one of these, you can see here that the first place person is gonna get 1,200 prestige. That's a ton of prestige. That doesn't also take into account some of the special stuff on the USA scenario. Don't worry about that too much right now. If you're doing USA, click on this button, take a look at what you do because you can get huge boost to prestige by your team being ahead um but yeah so hauling required goods if you can be near the top you're going to get a ton of prestige right there what i like to do as well is to run some of every good you can see i'm ranked on all of them today now it's not a big thing because you know but each one goes a long way so right here let's take a look so machinery there's 27 people running it right now so even if I just ran one ton of this as a different person that hasn't ran it yet, you'll get a minimum of four prestige. And there's a lot of people running them in this city, right? Because it is one of the big ones. What I also like to do is connect to other cities. And we're just gonna jump on over to Eugene, who's a little bit lower level, but close by. And here you can see if we jump on into it, by connecting to this city, I have also ran more to it um, just one of each and each of these so my pipes are giving me hundred prestige my glass is giving me 54 prestige and this is only 324 tons that I've run so this is gonna be about 250 prestige just from Eugene and all I'm using is I'm using my bonus engine from era one to just cycle all day long unless I need it elsewhere it just drops a you know a load of each to the town and there we go so definitely you want to run at least one train load of every required good to every city that you've got going on. Where you'll really see that you'll benefit from it is if you go to somewhere like Casper, which is one of the lowest cities in the world right now, but relatively close to where I started. So I branched out, I connect it. And if we take a look in here, you know, again, the prestige isn't as high because it's lower, but there's only five people running it to this city. So it's very easy to get a hundred, 200 prestige without dedicating many much of your trains to allow your trains to still level your main city as well as gain you money while you're just picking up the bits of prestige here and there um, i'm basically running this with my career engine and all of my bonus engines i keep my centaurs which is what i'm running currently just doing my money runs and leveling up when we decide we want to level the city so the next thing that we're going to talk about is um I mentioned connecting to multiple cities to run the goods, but connecting to cities as well benefits you a little bit in that uh, there are medals to do with um, connecting two different cities. I'm up to eight right now, but there's usually all sorts of different ones. Definitely take a look in here and see what other medals there are because all the medals give you different amounts of prestige that will go towards your total. And some of them are very simple things like make all transports of one good for a day. The earlier you can do this, the better, of course, because it's sometimes late game tough to do just one good for the entire game especially if you're hauling to all the different cities like i have been but like this one spot landing too finish a competition with only 10 seconds left try it try doing it it's 300 prestige if you can might as well do it might as well take advantage of that um so being connected to multiple cities also opens your door for whatever i mean you should always be doing this in your town anyways but know when your competitions are if you click on the competitions tab you can take a look at the soon here and it'll show you all the upcoming 
competitions that are in the cities that you're connected to. Most of these have a cash component to them. And I would say about 50% of them, maybe a little less, have a prestige component to them. So keep running these competitions if you're connected and you will get, as long as you can finish them, you will get a portion of this. I mean, you might not get the 190 prestige if you're not able to finish first, if it's a city that's a long way away and you're not connected to all the prime industries. But even if you have to haul from the next city over to get it there or a close warehouse, you can usually get easy 100 prestige at this point in the game. And I mean, it cycles or it varies depending on what stage of the er eras you are in. But that is another great way to do it. And it just, the benefits keep going up as you connect to more cities. So that very much helps there as well. So those are my main uh, tips for you guys. Haul your required goods. That will get you big boosts of prestige as long as you're doing what your city needs to level. There's tons of prestige in it for you there. Run one train load of every good to every city you're connected of every day. And that will just be a consistent supply of prestige that's coming on in as you're going through there. To benefit from that, connect to those multiple cities. That will give you more options of hauling every day to get more and more prestige coming in the door. And what also opens up more competitions for you, which you should definitely be running to help up your prestige game. And then finally, take a look at those medals, guys, and see if there's anything in there that you can do to get more prestige out of it there. So nothing too crazy. The one thing I will say, guys, is don't harm your city growth just because you're hunting after prestige, right? You still want to grow your cities because the higher the level of the city, the more prestige you have access to from those cities. I mean, if you want to go and be a prestige hunter, you're more than welcome to do that, but don't screw over the teams that are trying to build the cities and trying to make it to the end game. End game also has a ton of prestige available for you. So if you can connect to mega cities, if you can be hauling those goods at that time too, you'll get a huge boost. So I strongly suggest working on getting attached to a mega city and pushing a city to be a mega city because you want access to that as well. And let's be honest, we all want to be part of the city that wins the game. Isn't that what Rail Nation's all about? Come on. So those are the tips, guys. If you've got any more down below or you've got some uh, interesting things you want to share with everybody else or just banter back with us, throw it down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you found it helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and sub to the channel for updates when our new content goes live. Uh, and that's it for this episode. We hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.